nice of you to drop in, and just in time for a song. Dreaming down through the gates, watch the nights of Fikate, all the lights that smothers the sun. I can tell by the moon you'll be joining me soon as a guest in my fortress of fun. And I can't wait to see you and once again free you, release from your humanist air. Someday I will replace that big frown on your face with a smile and a murderous glare. We are two of a kind, violent, unsound of mind. You're the yin to my yang, can't you see? What is up, all you comic book fans? This is a comic book villain coming to you with another <clears throat> comic book haul. This is my 234th comic book haul for September 9, 2020. Uh, I hope everybody makes it out to your local LCS today. He gets what they want, finds what they're looking for. Another big week. Let's put the Jokers back. I got the two Jokers. Still looking for the third Joker. <clears throat> of course, I'm still sporting my 1 in 25. Uh, Joker book right there. Let's see another big week. Like I said, oh my goodness, this is another the top. Yep, that's the top. Hundred million thousand dollar thousand books. Just about. Let's get that receipt right there. Put that right there. Oh. Just a little reminder for all y'all people, because it's going to be one awesome cover coming out at the end of what, not this week, I think the, I think the last week of September, not this, not next Wednesday, not next Wednesday, but the following Wednesday, that, um, Spawn, what is it, 110, is it 110, that ninja, that nice looking ninja cover, so the first appearance of course is in uh, Spawn 297, there's the ver there's the virgin, there's the black and white, and there is the A cover, Road to 300. That's what it says on top. So don't forget to pull those out if you got them, dust them off. I mean I don't know if y'all do. <clears throat> I keep all my books in the run, uh, but I also keep all my first appearances in their own boxes. So since, like I said, that one was already there, I just pulled it out so I can show y'all the, the covers. But like I said, because I already had it, uh, seeing first appearance of Ninja Spawn. See, I had it in the back already. And of course, these are from, what is it, 5, when they came out back, 529? Yep. Put it this way. See, back 529, 19, when they came out. So... Like I said, I keep all my first appearances in their own book. I got one, two, three, four. I got like, I got like five, five long boxes full of first appearances, and I keep them in ABC order, alphabetical order. Um, spawn courses with the S's. So I just go through. If I'm looking for spawns, I go through the S's. I'm looking for Amazing Spider-Man. For I go through A. If I, you know, looking for Deadpool, I go through the D's. You know, so anything, I keep them all in ABC order. Alrighty, let's see. This is my pre. Okay, this is this is order for me right here. This is order. Uh, they came in. And this is the what the hell? This is the third printing. I believe it's the third. Print. Yes, Strange Academy <clears throat> number two. The third printing came out. Yes, sir. Pre-order two of them bad boys. Sorry about the glares. Uh, the sun is sun is trying to break through the clouds. It's cloudy right now. It's supposed to rain. It rained last rain last night. Excuse me, real quick. Let me see if I can get the sun to go the other way. So there's not much of a glare. There we go. That's there you go. That's a little bit better. Sorry about that. But just second prints, and everybody was talking in line. Even the even I was talking to the LCS person there, 
they were telling me, man, more people are showing up for second and third printings than they are the regular books that are coming out. So this is the third printing of number four right here. Of course, boom, you know, I get two, you know, I order two of them bad boys. So that was pre-ordered as well. Let me see. Is this the A or the B cover? This is the A cover. And of course, everybody was there for this one today as well. Web of Venom, Wrath. And there's a real nice looking cover where Wrath is uh, is fighting Noel. I forgot. It's, it came out. In, I got an email last night. I forgot where it was. Donny Cates Ryder. Look at that right there. Unhand the woman. So. Man, his interior art looks awesome. Oh, wow. Who the hell is that? I think there's supposed to be a... There's supposed to be a first appearance in here. Kintar, Planet of the Symbiotes. Cage of No. Oh, wow. Ooh, look at this guy's eyes. Looking crazy. Flip through a couple of more pages with y'all guys. Let's see. Liar. No, liar is a liar is a liar. Liar is a DC character. So that can't be her in here. <laughs> and I saw some videos. Well, I saw a video where the guy kept saying over and over. You know, get Wonder Woman this, you know, the 1 in 25 cover as his first cover appearance and her first appearance in the book. And I, I posted on his, on his, uh, on his YouTube channel, but he didn't, uh, he never got back to me. I told him, I said, sorry to break, bust your bubble, but Liar Liar's first appearance was in Wonder Woman 759. Now, this is her first cover appearance. Yes, it is. Oh, wow. That part was true, but he kept saying... You know, it's going to be a good book to pick up. You know, it's her first appearance, first cover appearance. I was like, nope, nope, nope. It's not her first appearance. 759, and it's her full appearance because she's on three pages. She's on like 9, 10, 11, maybe even 12. I forgot what it was. But she's like three or she's in there like three or four pages. And she does talk. She has bubbles. She's got bubbles. Wow, that looks really cool. So this is Web of Rat. We're still going through the pre-order stuff. Like I said, this is all pre-order for me. I pre this isn't just my regular, what, the list that I sent them. According to this, this is cover C. Hmm. You can see it says one, one, three, one. The first issue, the third cover, and volume one. Hmm. So that says, like I said, that says cover C. Got to double check. Got to double check it. This was also pre-ordered. I pre-ordered this. This is Bad Mother. The first one was pretty cool. Uh, Bad Mother. If y'all haven't got it, it's only issue two. This is a story. Is pretty good. The art, art is all right. But that is Bad Mother issue two. I think it's only a three. I mean, a four-part, five-part series. I forgot. Uh, alrighty. And I believe this is the third printing as well. Let me make sure before. I don't want to lie to y'all. Yeah, it is. It's the third printing. This is Batman 90. This is the A cover. Third printing. Black and white printing right here. Uh, I did. This isn't. Now, this isn't pre-ordered. I just had him pull me that. I said, hey, give me that. Just the same as this one right here. This one came out as well. This is Batman's Adventures Continue Number One. This is the do, 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 do. hmm. This is number one. It says one one two. I know it ain't volume two, but I know this is supposed to be the second printing though. So this is the second printing of Batman Adventures. See, unless it's issue eleven, which it's not. The first number. Is the 
comic book, which is number one. Second number is the cover. That's how you read these. Which is, they're saying this is the A cover. You know what? I guess there wasn't a... You know what? I guess that's right. It is the A cover, but... Second printing. There it is. So, it is the A cover. All they did is change the cover. That's what it is. First, first one, A cover, and it's a second printing. There you go. That is correct. I'll save this towards the end. Okay, now we're going back into pre-order. I pre-ordered these right here. This is the third printing. See, it says third printing right there. This is Seven Secrets, third printing. Of course, I got two copies of that. That is a hot book. Uh, oh, it's getting kind of thick. Let me go to get them out of there. Oh, you know what? I forgot to show you my my box, the big box. They sent me home in a big diamond box again. This was pre-order right here. This is also third printing. This is Bounty Hunters number one. This is pretty much almost like a black and white with the cover. This is a cover by Lee uh, Lee by uh, Lee Bermejo. There you go. A cover third printing. So. It is one 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 three. So of course I got two of those. What is this? Oh yeah, this is now this is pool list. This is on my pool list right here. And this is Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. This is a uh, cover A right here. Look at that. That's a cool looking cover. There's that cover B by Eastman. It's got a monkey. There's a monkey on the cover. Oh, number 12. Of course, I got two of those. And then, of course, I they give me... Well, they give me... I ordered this, but, of course, I get it at cover price. Of course, this is the 1 in 10. It is the 1 in 10, but I get it at cover price. I forgot something's going on in here. Uh, I'm trying to remember. Can't remember what's actually going on, but that is a sick-looking cover right there. Yes, it is. Alrighty, now we're back into, like I said, this is all pre-order. Let me get this off real fast. Oh, put that over there. Put that over there. And this was actually sideways. This is the fourth printing. Of Thor number three. Look at that. Boom, boom. Would have been awesome if it was a little bit more yellow in there so you can see the picture better. You put a little bit more yellow. And of course, you know, boom. Of course, you know, I ordered, pre ordered two copies of that bad boy. So that is the fourth printing of number three. All right. Let's see. Here we go. Now this is the this is just off the list that I send them to pull for me. Uh, this is Green Lantern number or number the Green Lantern second season two second season still the same shit season two number seven. This is the A cover, and that is the cool looking B cover right there. Yes, sir. <clears throat> now these two right here. I think issue 28 is the final issue in here. I think it is. I think. But anyway. Uh, this is Hawkman 27. The Justice Society of America. Remember that. Look at that old, old cover right there. Old friends. Fresh wounds. So I got two of them bad boys. And then this right here. Look at these. These are some awesome B covers right there. I believe they're done by Zaffanino. I believe that's who they're done by. All right, let me move these. It's kind of thick already. Let me move those out the way. Move. Get out the way. All right, hold on with me real quick. Uh, all right. 
Oh yes, and here's that uh, quarantine special from Ice Cream Man. Apparently this is supposed to be some couple of stories in here. Uh, I am what I am, page three. True or uh, original is numbers page seven. This is where the story start. Page thirteen, conversation of Mike's. Page seventeen, secret origins, pinky ring, and then circle. So there's gonna be a couple of stories in here, and I believe this was a five ninety nine cover price, but it's a thick book. It is a pretty pretty thick book. So, and I love the ice cream. Look at the big old. I love these old things. Uh, our comeback will be bigger than our setback. One one one, and yeah, it was a five ninety nine issue. Like I said, that was a had to pick that one up. Okay, this also was just order. Pirello, Ganeverly Pirello. See, there is a signature. So I'm telling you, man, I don't know why he doesn't put them on all of all the ones. I know he does some for Vampirella, Red Sonia, Red Sonia, Vampirella, stuff like that, and they don't have the signature on them. It is, it is his artwork, but I don't know why. I mean, I don't, maybe, I don't know if they don't want him to have his signature on it or what, or he just doesn't want to put it on, on certain ones, I guess. Here's another order. Uh, this is just off the order. This is Superman number 25. And then introducing Simar. Simar's first appearance. Of course, I got two of them bad boys. What does the newest threat want from Superman? He wants Lois Lane. The planet of Krypton exploding. Boom. Oh, wow. Well, check that out. Are these first appearances too? Oh wow. Yeah, I guess so. They got a bunch of them in here. They got Dominic, they got Fondly, they got Vox. There's a bunch of first appearances in here. Look at that. All these guys. Those multiple first appearances of these guys, of course, what Simar is the big villain, I guess, in this one right now. Uh oh. All oh, back in his high smallville. In his high school days. Sinmar then. Look, <laughs> there he is. He's in multiple pages. He does talk. So, first appearance. I know how some people get their butt hurt when people tell them that, uh, when people say that if he doesn't say nothing, he's only in one panel. It's just a cameo. You, you know, people bitch and complain over that Hulk 181 all day. Of course, if you own it, you're going to be on the side of that's. Um, one, uh, 180, what is it, 180 is not his first appearance, or, or some shit like that. Of course, because you don't want that other book, your book that you have or paid a lot of money for, when you got it, to go down in value. So, but to me, if you see him in the book, right there, if that's the first time you ever seen him, first appearance. That, that's the way it works with me. I don't care if the bitch says anything, she shits, she throws a finger... I don't give a shit. It's her first appearance. If that's the first time you've ever seen her in a book, a cover, or anything. It's not. It's none of this bullshit. Well, uh, they didn't say nothing. She was only in one panel. Now, I know, like, if they show, like, an arm with or something, I don't. I, that's kind of iffy. That's kind of on the wall, like, on the wall with me. Like, I don't know. Let's just say if she, if the person full costume wears a ring and then you just see a hand has a ring it's like oh well, that's her the first appearance of that person you can tell that's the hand with the ring anybody could be wearing that fucking ring or whatever you know so it's like uh, I don't really I don't really go by that if you see the whole person uh, at least the person's face I go by that like you saw the person's face or whatever you know or even even if it's the back like the back of her, like that right there that's her of course to, you see the inside you see her inside the book. You see her face. Okay, well, that's her then. 
And then the Amazing Spider-Man number 48, Sins Rising. They had a B cover. The B cover, I didn't really like the B cover. This one, the good. Of course, I'm all over Spider-Man. So I get these books. Love the storylines. Let's see what else. Oh, here's another new one that came out. This is from Dark Horse. Bill and Ted are doomed. I wasn't going to pick these up, but I said, eh, what the hell. Buying every other goddamn book. Might as well buy these. <laughs> you know how the villain do. A new book, a number one. Actually, I didn't I didn't pick up two of these. I mean, multiple of these because I'm like, mm, I don't know if these are going to do anything. But I did got, I did got, I did get uh, the A and B cover. Did got. Man, that's some awesome speaking right there. Villain. Did got. And this one right here is number, um, what the hell? 21, third printing. This is the third printing of Captain Marvel, of issue number 21. That's the third printing. Yes, sir. Got two of them bad boys. What the fuck? Over. I felt something in the back. That's the third printing, Captain Marvel, issue number 21. And then, of course... Does it say third printing? 21. This is a set. No, hold on. This is a second printing right here. This is the second printing. This is number 21. Second printing. Volume, volume 1. Let me see what the hell this is then. This one right here is issue 21. Yeah, this is the third printing. Hmm. I can't believe they came out together. 21 2 1. This is 21 3 1. So yeah, this is sure did. And then of course I went ahead and picked up this. This is Avengers, Empire Avengers Aftermath number one. I think this is the this is the C cover. It has She Hulk on it. So I went ahead and picked up this this one. Let's see what's going on in the aftermath. Boom. next hmm. the future next it's got Black Panther and um, Moon Knight fighting back here I guess that'll be on the next issue alrighty it's filling up my thing let me move these out of here Put those right there. Alrighty. Almost done, guys. Almost done. And then this one is Empire Fantastic Four Fallout. This is the this is the C cover. I like the C cover with these guys flying. The torch and what's your name flying in the air. I don't know why this cover sold out on Midtown though. I noticed that. This one out of all the covers. This one was the one that was sold out. Avengers Assemble. Can't wait to get into that one right there, yes sir. Uh, so let's see, here we go. Alrighty, and of course, I get the Flash. 761 came out today, look at that cover, that's a nice cover. Either these two are homos and he's gonna kiss him like he's doing the Brokeback Mountain crap. I just can't quit you. And then that cover by Inhocule is awesome. <laughs> so let's see. <laughs> and then one of these was just the pool list. The other one was a pre-order, but I kept these together. This one right here, Nightwing. This is, of course, the Joker War tie-in. This is Nightwing 74. 
Looks like the boy blunder really fell for my plan. I think they're gonna turn this dude. The Joker's gonna turn his ass. And then, of course, I have pre-ordered these on my uh, my list. This is the Nightwing 74. The two. That is a awesome looking cover right there. Has punchline. Look at that. Beautiful looking cover. Of course, it's in the storyline of the Joker War, so of course I was getting it, but I ended up pre-ordering two of those because that was a nice, nice looking cover. And then, Oblivion Song number 27. Man, I have been enjoying this read since day one. And this almost looked like, what's his name? They almost drew him like, like what's his name from Daryl from Walking Dead. <laughs> Shit. Daryl's on the Oblivion song now. And then right here, I, think, I believe this is the last one, 5 of 5 of the Ravencroft. This is the A cover. I think, there, I think there was a B cover, but it was an incentive. But this is supposed to be... Yeah, I want to say it's 5 of 5. It's supposed to be. So let's see. This is the only cover that I like. The A cover was cool by Jim Ross, by Jim Ross, by uh, Alex Ross, but I just wanted this one. This one is the C cover. Oh no, this is the E cover, according to what's on the thing. But I, I want to say Midtown. I, people mark them all crazy. They think Midtown had it as the B or the C cover, but this is actually remember I, how you read those. It's one five one, which is. Issue number one, the fifth book, the fifth cover, which you count A, B, C, D, E. So this is cover E, volume one. So. Remember watching this show. Remember seeing it a couple of times. I didn't really too, too, watch it too, too much, but I remember seeing it growing up. Alright, now this is supposed to be another cool book right here. Let's see. Stargazer number one came out. I actually have the ash can. They gave me the ash can when it came out about four or five months ago. They they told me, hey, would you like the ash can? And actually Okay. But this is Stargazer. Actually, they gave me two ash cans that day. They gave me that one and another one. I forgot what the other one was, but I know they gave me two. Uh, I don't know if I can find it real fast. Just bear with me, guys. Bear with me. I know I'm taking a little bit long. gave me the ash can see the cover this cover is different see and they gave me the ash can to sleeping beauties as well I knew I had those two in there so now I got that one alrighty here we go see what happens in this one Star number five of five. I know this is a five of five. The end even says the end on it. And of course I got two. Two of those bad boys. Right there as well. Oh wow. Damn. Two minutes later. Oh wow. Look at her eyes. Boom. Pretty god. Can't wait to read that one because that's star number five of five right there. And then of course I ended up getting 
with two of the bee covers as well. These are beautiful looking bee cover. Let me get these out. That's getting kind of thick in there too. Put these right here. Sorry, take you're almost done, guys. Almost done. Where the hell? Oh, let's see. Where the hell the fucking box? Is? Of course, these right here are on my list too. This is the A and the B cover. This is Joker, Harley, Criminal Insanity number five. I think this is the final issue as well. Get yeah, that cover. That cover looks pretty dope. Let's see if it'll fit between there. Man, love the interior artwork. This is just some beautiful, beautiful artwork. See, we see Harley's death house or something. Or the Joker. Maybe we'll see the Joker wang. Says, well, uh -oh. he says, mine's bigger, Batman. Says, I don't play around. Wow, check that out. Boom, right in his freaking neck. Crazy. Oh, look at that crap. <laughs> and that's a cover of B cover right there. Look at that. Can't wait to read that bat boy, bat boy. What you gonna do? Alright, just a few books. A few books? No, that's down on my last ones right here, of course. And now you can actually this is Wonder Woman 762 and this is I wanna say Liar Liar's first cover appearance right there. Liar Liar Strikes. And like I said, her first appearance, full appearance was in 579 she's in multiple panels multiple pages and she does speak she's got a couple she got some bubbles in there wow, interior artwork is nice of course I, I wanted these two for her cover appearance which is her first cover appearance but her first her first full appearance in comic books was uh, Wonder Woman 759. Let me take this out right here. Well, I can leave it in. I was going to take it out, but I ended up picking up this. And of course, I did not pay that. I got this for pretty much ratio. This is her, the one in 25, the, what is it, forgot who did this cover, Jen, last name is Jen, I think, Jen, 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 Jen or something or whatever, beautiful looking cover, so I did pick up that one, somebody else, there was another one in 25 cover for, for one of the DC characters, but, I wanted this one better. So, like I said, picked up that one right there as well. Did not pay that price though, but I got that one right there. All right, that was my last one. Yes, it is just double checking the box. Double checking the box. Have you stayed with me this long? Appreciate it. Really do appreciate it, guys. God damn it. Uh, let's see. Oh, got to give you a cover of the week. You know how the villain do the villain. Got to give you that cover of the week. And I don't know if anybody probably saw this come, but uh, if you heard the video and I thought about this, I said this was a good looking cover. And that right there is going to be my cover pick of the week. That is the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles TMNT number one. Oh, uh oh number 109 uh oh the retailer incentive cover beautiful looking cover right there beautiful looking cover um shoot i don't even have anything i have uh i think i might have i know i have one book that i'm waiting for but i don't think it's out yet it's the venom 27 it's a second printing of a exclusive store cover when they first put out the first exclusive um, that thing sold out so fast that they went ahead and put a second printing out of it. And that one went out freaking fast just as well. 
and then I then a couple of days later, I think they got a, a e I think I remember getting an email from the place uh, saying that they're they were gonna kind of change up. I guess they're they're purchasing. You know, I guess they were gonna start doing some limits, like limiting people, limiting on how many you can buy. Because I guess when they they've been selling out. Because actually, because on that third printing, on the second printing one of it. I did get to I get I did get to buy two copies. I went in when it first went online at then it went on sale at noon. Went in there real quick, boom, put two, and checked out real fast. And of course, people were saying that they didn't get a chance. They were I guess complaining they didn't get a chance to buy any. They sold out real quick. You know, some people were at work. They don't have the opportunity to do it. I mean, that's the thing though. Is just, don't get me wrong. I mean, to tell you the truth, I work on the weekends. There's a lot of stuff that comes on goes on sale Saturday and Sundays that I actually have my uh, um, I tell my my wife I said look this is this is what I need it's right there ready to go just click on it it'll it'll, it'll um, update put one in the cart and check out you know so I mean I do feel for the people that are going that are at work when a book comes out on sale during the week you know especially like at noon one o'clock two o'clock hey you know what you're at work and I know you're you're not able to jump on and buy something and you know by the time you get home you realize it's sold out and then it, but but even at that sometimes it's I, I want to say they said the third party sold out in about five less than five minutes so even if you could get on at work or even if you were just ten minutes late at two o'clock you got on it at 210 it's like yeah it was already gone anyway so, but enough of me rambling, guys. Like I said, thanks for watching. Uh, this was my 234th comic book haul for uh, September 9, 2020. So, like I said, hopefully everybody makes out to local OCS, gets what they want, finds what they're looking for. That's my dog barking. That's my Scarlet. She's, she's a Rottweiler. Um, remember, be safe, wear your mask. You know, be sure to follow all the protocols. Wash your hands, wash your face, wash your ass. And stay COVID free, baby. Comic Book Villain out. Laters.